Hey guys, today we got the Origami Book. Uh, it's a cool little mini book. It's got eight white pages on the inside. It's got the cover and a spine. And uh, I'm going to put it in my bookshelf over here. Maybe I'll show you how to do that in another video. But for today, we're just going to focus on the book. So you're going to need a regular piece of paper, origami piece of paper. And we're going to start by folding it in half. the other way. And that back up. I'm going to take these and fold it to the center on each side. Okay, and open this back up. You're going to make in four more folds. So what I like to do is take one of the mountain folds and fold it to the next mountain. And open it up. And it makes it a little easier to, to fold these. Got a little crease. Open it up. Fold that to the end. Open it up. And then do the last side. Now go to your white side, and you're going to fold these back in on themselves. Pick this up, and just complete the accordion or zigzag. Like that. So what you're going to do is fold it over like this, so you have two points on each side. So a flat side and then a, a side that opens up. You're going to lay that down flat. Now you'll notice there's a faint fold line here. What we're going to be doing is folding this over halfway between that fold line and where you're going to be folding. So these two parts should be equal. So this and this should be about equal. I'm going to open that back up. Next thing we're doing is taking this line and folding it over so it's in line with here. And you want to make sure that this fold and this fold come to a point. Come to a point right there. And all you're going to be doing is creasing here. You don't want to crease it all the way across. Open that up. You see how that, that folds there. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bring this up. So this is in line with this line. This line and this line make a point, and then give it a nice crease on that one side. Okay, so you're going to open everything up, and you'll notice there's another zigzag pattern that you've just created. So in the center of that, you're going to fold this back and pick this up and refold up your zigzag. Make sure everything's nice and crisp. So you have something that looks like that. Okay. So you're going to open this up. This is a little tricky, but you're going to grab the first part here and you're going to push on the end. And you're going to notice that it wants to collapse on itself. You notice it wants to collapse on itself like that. You're going to take the next mountain fold, push on the end, and it'll collapse on itself. And you're going to take the next mountain fold, push on the end, and it'll collapse, and do the same thing for the end. So you have something that looks like that. Okay. So now you're going to have like a little L shape here. You're going to take this long piece and fold it back towards yourself, leaving just a little space in between here. Make sure it's a pretty good crease. You can also turn it back and fold it on this side to make the crease just a little bit stronger. 
then what you're going to do in the middle of these folds you're going to open this up and allow these two sides to fold down now those two folds that you just did are going to allow this to come down and form a point so just give that a good crease there and you'll see that that came to a point like that Okay. so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the side that splits open you're going to push these out and allow this to fold back on itself so when you pop that open you're just going to allow that to lay flat and give it a good crease there and give it a good crease there Okay. so it'll look like that that opens that side's plate and flush so then you're going to turn it back over and you're going to do the exact same thing that you just did so you're going to open these up and allow this to fold back on itself. And give it a good crease again. Let this lay down flat. Give it a good crease. Okay, then I'm going to turn it back over again. Now if you imagine there's a line in the center of this, you're going to be taking this fold and going halfway between where you started and where that imaginary center line would be. Okay. Then you're going to take everything and fold it back on itself so it's almost flush with the end. And give it a good crease, just like that. Okay. So you started with that one. Then you folded this down. And it looks like that on the other side. So now you can already see that it's looking like a book. All you got to do is finish off by folding these back in and giving it a good crease. Now you notice I didn't go right to the edge. I didn't go right to the edge there. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and you'll see why in a minute. So just fold these in. Okay, so it looks like that. You don't want to go right in to here. You want to leave a little, a little bit of space. Okay, so now you're almost done. Now here's a real tricky part. You'll notice if I just left it like this, these would keep popping up. Well, you don't want that to happen, right? So, what you're going to do is take this bottom fold and allow it to curve over. and catch under here. So now it won't it won't open. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. It's a little tricky. Just let that come over and fall into that part. And you're done. Okay, so you're gonna fold this in half make it look a little more realistic just give it a little pinch here and push on the back you're going to be, ma going to be making the spine of the book Okay. and there you go you're done nice little mini origami book for your bookshelf okay i hope you liked it and i'll see you next time guys ciao